let's take it back to uh 2015 when Vaughn was alive doing this thing, pressing the issue on all this music and shit like that. Like I, I actually met Vaughn through you, you know what I'm saying? Like uh you told me little bro was rapping and shit like that, like let's put it together. And uh when I linked with Vaughn, like Vaughn was a solid ass nigga, bro, like shit I don't even talk about, you feel me? It just was 100 shit, like me and Vaughn, I mean sure he was on some shit, you know what I'm saying? So what made you really like press little bro music? And when did you know like he had a shot at that shit to really go somewhere? Cause we pressing anything little bro was on. I said, little bro was hot though, it don't matter if he was not though, we was pressing that shit, I don't keep it real. We was pressing anything cut though was on, but we standing with that shit. And Lil Bro pressing his own shit. Lil Bro ain't no lame shorty pressing shit. Same way he pressing, he pressing. Motherfuckers know shorty just pressing everything. P, living it out, everything pressed. Motherfuckers put press on everything. Yeah. My little bro was hollering, bro. He was saying all types of shit. Lil Bro was saying all types of shit. Lil Bro had niggas out. Lil Bro's out here. Fuck your dead homies. Started that. <laughs> Started that shit, dude. I be sitting back looking, nigga be talking about they smoking shit now. Lil bro been mixing motherfuckers, rolling they ass up. I used to be like, it's a little ass. Lil bro outside, bro. I'm hot as hell, he hot as hell. This bitch got a hoodie on. That bitch say fucking dead on this. He got 15 niggas on there all over Chicago. We stunning out every day. On this little nigga, slow. I'm falling on my little brother, like gangsta. Cut them. We going all types of shit, bro. He still on the head, bro. Cut those down. That music shit, he's gonna be lit. We'll be rich right now, Scub, dry up. Cut those. What legacy do you want your brother music to believe? This was him. Like, that bitch was hollering. That bitch, like, you hear me? Do you hear me? This shit hotter than shit niggas putting out right now. This shit better than that shit right now. Shit niggas putting out right now. This shit better than that. Other bitch saying all type of shit. That bitch said slide through the limb, catch a limb, remix the hit. <laughs> that bitch was saying all type of shit, man. That hoe said five mops, five killers, bitch. Black, black, black. <laughs> That's 150 in your shit. <laughs> One, two, four, this bitch running, folk. Let me see what it say, like, so where the S is signed at, folk. This they blue camera. Definitely big diamonds right there. It's early. Who this is? It's two, four. Let me see my shot. Let me see. This two, four. Oh, say night for asses. Niggas in trucks riding fast. What this is? Y'all know who stole this is. Y'all yeah. remember this face, don't y'all? Oh. Okay. Look at them guys in that right truck. They see us. Whoever oh, the yeah, fuck they is. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, look, bro. Watch him. Well, watch they here. Oh, y'all know what it is, boy. He coming out here, they ass. Stay down here. Dry as hell out here. Look at my Saudis. Ooh! Y'all know these niggas, them Uchi Wallies out here, man. They was out here somewhere. Look at this shit. They write shit like this on the wall. That's what they write on their walls. They lit ass don't be on shit, boy. We be out here. It's late, now niggas ain't out here. These ain't the hours the fuck niggas come outside. We walking the nine too. Check us out just in case y'all think I'm dolo. And niggas ain't on the nine. Just in case. It's not five in the morning. It's not five in the morning. It's not no shit like that. It's 10 o'clock. See where the fuck is y'all at? And we was on the hit, boy. Y'all lucky y'all ass ain't out here. And I seen some of you niggas just ride past in them cars. I don't know if that was you or not, Lil Herb. Yo ass was in one of them cars, man. Huh. Oh. Get they ass on camera. Get they ass on camera, we gonna take it slow. Up to nine, booty shit. Y'all don't even know LeBron ain't gonna tell y'all who he is. Bunch of niggas. 
Yo, it's all right. Knock the dreads out, so shit. We see you just hit. Alright, what's up? Let's go on Sibby right now. Listen I got moving. Alright, I got moving into seven. Let's go outside right now. Listen, this, listen, listen. fuck that. Let's go outside at? right now. Where you at? I'm finna go on Sunny right now. I told you I'm on Sierra Plus. Let's you want to pick this out Sierra, nigga. Drake. D-Y-R-I-L, nigga. Block off Sunny. I'm outside right now. Block off us. I'm gonna go on my block right now. You gonna pull up over there? No, let's. Alright, let's video. Go like that right. Go right there and get on live. I bet you won't go right there and get on live and stand outside. I bet you won't go nowhere and get on live right now. Bro, I just told you we can go on Sunny right now. You the one that said you can do Bro, come on, let's go right now. Let's go, we can leave out the house. Let me see you do that, Drake. Let me see you do that gangster shit. And I'm gonna come respect you. Pop outside with your block right now and go live on something. Bro, it's serious, bro. Yeah, baby, this nigga tweet. He got me fucked up. Do it, bitch ass nigga. Tell that bitch shut up for I rape her face. Get your bitch ass out of here. Do it. Let me, and I bet that's that same fat bitch because you want to taste a tubby taster. That's that same fat bitch. Look, now you talking like BDs. Man, is that that same fat bitch you fucking with, bro? Jokes after and BD? you still with that big ass white bitch, BDK. bro? That's why you don't never post no pictures with that bitch. But you repeat shit after Where top. is that big ass Whoa, bitch? Whoa, you post that big ass the bitch. Top, folks. Man, I ain't gonna be nowhere but in the rack, nigga. I'm over east, nigga. Mo Block soldier, nigga. We ain't shooting from no car, we just trying to get closer, nigga. Talking about, am I in the rack, nigga? Nigga, I just had court, nigga, in Cook County today, nigga. Fuck you, talking about. Nigga. Bro, you need to leave the city today. Unless they gonna get you. What? What? I need to see the bob, nigga. That's what I need. I need to see my bob. I'm so fucked up. I don't know nothing about that. All that I'm gonna get you sucking shit. I don't know nothing about that. Sooner or later. Sooner then, nigga. Sooner than later, y'all. I'm tired of this shit. Come take me out this shit, cause I can't take no more. Sooner than later, then, you bitch ass niggas. Y'all be pissing me off with that shit. Y'all been threatening me for 20 years. It's all bitch ass song. They also dissed the Vice Lords since popping out from Lakeside as a GD. KTS became the shorties to the old heads on the east side of Chirac. KTS worst opposition or NLMB across Terra Town with your Blackstones past Lakeshore Drive in the South Shore neighborhood. Lakeside GDs run down 79th to South Merquette to South Exchange just bordering Terra Town and NLMB runs from 79th to East 75th across Yates to the lake. Okay, so I'm finna take y'all down the block to 75th to 79th, down through South Drexel to South Ellis in the South Shore neighborhood. We just wrapped up KTS Vaughn and now KTS Dre. This is authentic, no cap, and all fact. KTS Dre and KTS Vaughn 
Was born and raised on the east side of Chicago In the South Shore neighborhood Off Lakeside Which are east side GDs And eventually clinked up with the 075 Vice Lords On 75th and South Cottage Grove In the Grand Crossers neighborhood Even though KTS Dre and KTS Vaughn Both grew to became savages on the east side They still had a balance to both parents in their household The mother Lanya and their father Vinny Tried to keep KTS Dre and KTS Vaughn from running wild in the street life, but their efforts were in vain as both of them still grew up to become savages. Lanya saw KTS Vaughn really became heartless after her sister's son Zico died. Zico was Vaughn's favorite cousin as he was shot and killed in 2008. Zico was down with the infamous 051 Young Money on 51st and South Cottage in the Woodlawn neighborhood. After Zico died, KTS Dre started referring to 051 as Zico World. Then 051 adopted the name and became Zico Gang. After KTS Dre lost his brother KTS Vaughn, two others were gunned down in retaliation for claimants that had been on the hit that killed KTS Vaughn. Then after Vaughn died, KTS Dre lost his father Vinny to a shooting committed by E-Block affiliate, Devontae Murray. Murray was found guilty of murder and attempt murder of an innocent bystander. The murder of Vinny happened on the 6600 block of South Michigan in the Grand Crossers neighborhood. Cutthroat Draco was the first to claim Lakeside GDs. Vaughn and his father Vinny hung with the 075 Vice Lords. Then they flipped it to KTS, and now amongst the Vice Lords are GDs, UVLs, MVLs, and Larry Hoover's Gangster Disciples, and they hung on 75th and Cottage. The Vice Lords scooped the young savages from the South Shore neighborhood. With the incline of gang shootings and the decline of soft homicides, Cutthroat Dre knew in order to maintain his street status, he had to go live on Instagram and bring shame to the ops in LMB and Terror Town. He also did Sir Con City and Old Block affiliates while daring them to pull up on Stony Island so he could demonstrate how a real savage catch a body. And there are others as well. In 2021, we gonna be rich, bitch. What the fuck going on, nigga? Fuck everybody, gang, nigga. Fuck everybody, gang. NLMBK. Y'all the fuck going on? Stop playing with us, bitch. I will. Why y'all ain't no more quit no more? Yeah, I, I, look, when the last time you been to the barber shop? You look like you need a haircut. Nah, I don't need no haircut. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Oh. You guys want me to show my? I'm good. I'm good. I bet you niggas ain't. I bet. I bet what you, you never have to go to another barbershop. Me and your wife. That's that. Where y'all at? We go to my barbershop. We be good up there, yeah. Up there. My business. I'm not you know what's going on. You know what's going. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. What do I start, man? Shit. Bond times two, shit. He was doing it long with Vaughn. Plus his long shit, man. That was, was motherfucking idol with this. He was doing that stood on shit with Vaughn, like he said. You know what I'm saying? They got it from they did. He really big been up, man. He was he was he was a monster. But you see how they have to get cuzzle up out of there? They couldn't touch that man no other way, man. They have to do something calculated, man. You see how Dre did? <laughs> Then what's the shorty name the long lips Cairo on the video stole on him, man. He was like, he was the leader of the pack. A lot of people thought it was Vaughn because he was just more out there. It was really Drake. Shit, we you remember that time you slid on me on the pocket and Drake was out there talking about that shit, man. Bragged about that it was his work at that motherfucking barbershop. That little move. Shit, they had end up uh, snatching him. That's what he was locked up for. They snatched him, man, little bro. And they was trying to get the ballistics off the heat. Um, attached to that little body, you know what I'm saying, down there downtown. And the, um, they had snatched Lil Bro Bron when the ballistics came back, but Dre shit was taking too long. That's how he ended up being able to bond out. But shit, you know, Lil Bro would have had a bond. We'd bond him out too, but shit. It's probably a blessing though, because you can see what happened, shit. KTS Dre, KTS Prince, KTS Spoon, and Cutthroat Vaughn was the heart of Lakeside GDs. Even though Dre, Spoon, and Vaughn are deceased, their names still send shockwaves to the people's lives they destroy through their savagery. You hear KTS Dre's cousin, KT 
Eddie Israel speak on the passing of his third cousin. It really sent the guys on a cycle of get back revenge for KTS Dre or Cutthroat Draco. Many are desired to be top killers for their game, so they stand ready to smoke on each other's dead homies. In 2021, Lil Grad from No Limit Muskegon Boys was chilling at a barbershop on 19th and State when a Pocket Town affiliate and KTS gang member ran into the barbershop and shot Greg in the head, then dipped. Weeks after 12 matched the gun found in the Pocket Town affiliate's possession, he was booked to hell with no bond. KTS Dre was ordered held with no bail for a separate gun charge, but was ultimately released on bond after the state felt it showed Dre was a shooter in their murder case. KTS Dre admitted on Instagram that Greg was his work. Ain't no good bitches for me, I'm too savage for hoes. Fuck a relationship, Valentine's no ways. I'd rather slide on these clowns, acting like I ain't really body shit. Ever since we was kids, I had phone them running. When they see me, now they wanna front they move on Instagram. She just a fugazi, homie. I'm more respected on Lakeside as a killer, not a shooter. And folks them too clowned out. I get too fucked if you lost. Keep talking down on my name till one day you gotta eventually bump into me. And don't beg me for no pass, cause you won't get one on phone them. I been said I smack dudes. On phone them, I been smack niggas. Cut off the truth. My niggas too savage to only have one body, right or wrong. Just don't scare of us, ever since they been getting smoked. Phone them caught two every time we on they block, right or wrong. I walk from Lakeside, yes I say them, but they still fear me. Calling out on Faison when they see me, right or wrong. Just goes to show, you not have the man your daddy tried to be. Cut your best friend with your sister, you shaking his hand days later, right or wrong. Bitch, all with some dirty ass, fat farm, blue jeans all on your face, gyrate. You a fucking goofy, nigga. Cut those gang, And I'll beat any one of y'all ass in real life, I swear to God. I will. And I know you niggas, bitch, they already know how I be bumming out here, so y'all wouldn't even meet me nowhere, nigga. You niggas be lying on your dead homies. Merchant lies on face on. Last motherfucking merchant lie on my dead homie got slapped, right or wrong. We too lakeside, we too slimed out. Cut those GDs, some VLs, no BDs. Yet they still feared us. Mop the flow with such disrespect. RP to my brother Vaughn. I wish folks were still here to apply pressure to these clowns. On phone them, they scary. Draco. We smoke that shit. We out here all here every day. All day. My man, no good fuck. He out here to play. Fuck the fuck me. Still out here on hostel. I don't get no fuck about this shit. Got to shit don't stop me. Out here on hostel. Don't cuss when it get real. Don't cuss when it get real. Don't cuss when it get real. And we ain't gonna tell them all that, but they know. They know them cuss right there, G. No, this way it get real. I don't know. We ain't gonna say too much, though. So, GK. Black mob killer, fuck all the wanna be off. Fuck all the RG, GDK, Dot Five, we coming. MDK, Eastside Crazy, and LMB, not believe my brothers. Cold Squad, Pistol Bay, Vito City, Fatal Man, now we coming. RPG, Fatal. You don't think a lot of people pretend to be about this life like they act like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all, yeah. yeah. A lot of this shit. Everybody. All, everybody playing with this shit. Never mm -hmm. gonna really be out here. We was just riding around. You see, ain't nobody outside. Yeah, what up? You gotta talk to them about this shit. You gotta get in there shit. You know, you a big homie. Man, I can't talk right now. Oh, <laughs> Y'all got it, man. Alright. All right. Why, why are they lying? Like, why are they? They want clout. They want, they want to be in this shit. When you want to be in this shit, that's what you do. You want to be in this shit, that's what you do. Clout shit and get you whacked quick. You, you, you don't know if somebody's an op. You know what the war around is, so you ain't going to go post up or you walk down nobody's block anyway. So, you know, you be with it. You know the op. You just catch them all on Facebook, all over the internet, all types of shit. 
just know when you get caught, you don't got that on you. Yeah, nigga gonna rob me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit ain't nothing. My fuckers ain't buy this shit. G, this shit gonna took me. Yeah, All this shit, G. All this shit, this shit gonna took me. We ain't buying this shit, G. We out here poking. We gotta get this shit, G. Robbing everybody. We gotta get this shit. And all that shit. So what's the, uh, you know, people always say, we gotta stop all this violence. We gotta stop this. I mean, is it gonna stop it? Hell no. Nah. Vaughn, Meech, Migo, Pox G, Cabal, Bloodhound, Spook, Nello, and KTS Rio stay dissing the Ops in Sircon City and Terror Town. KTS Vaughn and Dre turned out for their father who became a GD at a young age. So it was natural for his four kids to become gangster disciples despite surrounded by stone lords and BDs on the east side of Chirac. KTS Vaughn stated on Instagram that when his cousin Zico died, he turned heartless and became a young savage, and KTS Dre welcomed him as he felt his brother was a little timid to drill, but he turned up after Zico died. Soon after Zico's death, KTS picked up with E-Block but soon had a fallout over money being shorted from a botched robbery that led to the deaths of four people on 76 and South Ellis in the Pocket Top neighborhood. KTS Rio, Pasto, Ronnie Mo, and Pop Migo and Diddy G are from Lakeside, Pocket Town, and Moose Block. Even though they are deceased, they are rightly well respected, but Terror Town happily smokes on their dead homies but look two ways as KTS Dre has a reputation as a killer, not a shooter. And so did Vaughn. KTS is also in a war with ABK on 73rd and Coles on the east side. KTS Dre stated on Instagram that he's smoking on Faison and Lou Gregg. There are signature ways to diss your rivals without stepping on their toes in the club. Words start wars. So many young youth are willing to exchange their life to roll up their ops in the backwood, then laugh about it on Facebook. And society has accepted the status that kids are soulless and heartless, when indeed they are fighting for their life in the writings of their hatred. The reality of so much death and hate is terrifying these kids. They know more killers than those that graduated the 10th grade. They turned to Instagram for their first date. They on Facebook for their first true love. On for now, we don't post guns, but come find out how we living though. Some people can pinpoint everything wrong about you, but when it comes to correcting themselves, the pen don't work no more. I miss my brother, I wish I could give my OG the world right now, on for now. Young bull of this street shit, I think I'm Kobe right now, I'm ballin' on these goofies. Yes, I made my status very known, and yes I'm not a shooter, but a killer, ask the ops. First I was hustling backwards, it didn't add up until I figured out, he lived right there, say less, I'm in a car parked out right now, at his crib. We be too cut though. You don't want beef with us. We too slimed out. You not gangster at all. Ain't never took a loss that ain't teach me nothing. When you got ops, don't be drugged out. On for them. Every time we get a chance to show love, we gonna turn up for Vaughn. Cause where I'm from, niggas don't make it to be 18. Niggas never be in the hood on 79th and Ellis. And I'm on Lakeside, I swear I gotta say it twice I'd be a damn fool if I get tricked out my glow Get it? Ha ha, that's full now Caught that boy right at the bus stop This is last stop, no more glow Get it? Let them throw rocks and run We chase down too Come outside, we got them Long live Rio, long live Vaughn Long live Pasto, and long live Bread the game, they did, but they're very alive. Even though KTS Dre 
continued to express his thoughts on Twitter. Deep within his text is the guy testing his own fate to stay relevant. As he felt he wasn't getting the respect he was due for. He bodied plenty dudes, but ain't get the recognition because many false flaggers would gladly claim bodies they didn't catch for the fame and fortune and bragging rights. In Chicago, it is best to be known as a killer than a shooter. Many youth in Chicago are traumatized by so much death. Most kids know shooters, but would gladly rock with a killer for self-respect in their neighborhood like K.I. Holding that bitch to my heart, clapping that bitch. Hey, cut who after you? Me after me, bitch. On phone them, I don't be on none of that shit. You niggas be tweaking. I be in jail, mad as hell all day, nigga. On straight tough shit, nigga. I be waiting on a nigga to beat anything out of me. You bitch ass nigga. Say my motherfucking name, your ass a whole fucking goofy out here, nigga. Your ass don't got no name, don't hold no weight in Chicago. You a straight goofy. Soon as I say your name, everybody get the. Oh yeah, he a goofy, bro. He used to try to hang with no limit. They ain't accept him. So he start hanging with hands. Hands showed him how to get some money. That hands is dead. He hands your dead. Ain't no nigga sunning me in Chicago. Nigga, nigga sunning me nowhere, you bitch ass nigga. You got a daddy nigga? You a bitch nigga. And I'm BDK. I don't know what you is. I'm fuck all that shit nigga. And I make niggas click up nigga. On my babies, nigga, I'll cut those game, make niggas link in, nigga. We make niggas be friends, don't even wanna be friends. You bitch ass niggas be needing help. KTS Dre, final hours. January 28th, 2021, 2.28 p.m. Lil Greg from NLMB drives to the barbershop to get his hair cut. 3.12 p.m. Greg begins to get his hair cut when a masked man sneaks behind him while he's getting his hair cut and shoots him in the head and eye from the back of his skull. The shooter runs out of the barbershop and jumps into a car where another masked man is sitting and waiting for his return from the drill. Lil Greg, G Herbo's brother so claimed, is fighting for his life but dies en route to Georgia Hospital. The murder happened on 19th and South State in downtown South Loop weeks after the murder on Instagram. KTS Dre in a heated argument with a member from NLMB. Dre dropped some surprising jewels about a murder he was allegedly involved in. You ain't out there no more. Listen. I will. Why y'all ain't no more quit no more? Did, have you, hey look, when last time you been to the barbershop? You need to look like you need a haircut. No, I don't need no haircut, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Sure? You just want me to show my, I'm good, I'm good. I bet you niggas ain't, I bet, I bet you, you never mean? have a Another barbershop again in your life. Right, stop that. Barbershop. Where y'all at? We go to Margarita. We eating good up there, yeah? Up where? Margarita. Oh. Hey, look, y'all can't. Hey, hey, look, you know until you do something to somebody, you can't really say all that stuff. It's not cool, bro. Like, I don't do it. Look, you cool. the police, bro. You the fuck. As the NLMB member asked Dre why they don't be on South Marquette anymore. Referring to a Lakeside member they caught lacking on South Marquette and shot and killed him two months ago. Dre peeped the reach and responded in accordance to his own reach. But he would do more than just reach. Dre went on to state that was his work and even asked the NLMB member if he thought he was savage enough. Cape Tiet Dre wants his body out. Dre wanted his flowers. Weeks later, Christopher Mosley, a Lakeside affiliate, was driving the same vehicle him and Dre used to slide on Lil Greg. 12 pulled Chris over and found a Glock pistol as he was a convicted felon 
so he was booked with no bail as a habitual offender. Three days later, KTS Dre House was raided for violating probation and 12 found a Glock pistol and he was also booked as a habitual offender and was given no bail. 12 had evidence to hold Chris on no bail, but KTS Dre, the state evidence was weak and the judge granted him bail, stating the state can't deprive him of his constitutional right. The state was trying to tie Cutthroat Dre and Cutthroat Chris to the murder of Lou Gregg through separate gun charges, which worked at first, but not so much later. Dre was released on 5,000 bail. The murder of Lou Gregg was not taken lightly, and Terror Town was ready to get back for Greg. KTS Dre was shopping around 13 days trying to get bail for his court date was July 1st of 2021. He was given bond on July 1st, but he wasn't able to get the money for 13 days. Dre finally convinces a family member to borrow him 5,000 for his release. Dre is finally ready to come home, but there is one small problem with his release. See, according to two individuals who were locked up with Dre, they stated Dre was asking a lot of people to help him make bail or if he knew someone he could pay back. All his attempts were in vain. Dre finally went to his ex-girlfriend's mother and asked her if she stated, yes, I'll do it. Everyone around the jail knew he was making bail now. Dre gave away all his stuff he had to his cellmates and waited. Wait, his bail was posted on the 12th of July. Not good to be known of your release as a known killer. No time to worry, he's already out of there, he's free. KTS Dre was released 24 hours ago, but came back to be equipped with an electronic monitor bracelet. Out of nowhere, two cars pull up and multiple shooters jump out and shoot KTS Dre over 64 times in the body and head. One witness heard, let's go while one stays shooting at KTS Dre. The shooters jumped back in their cars and peeled off sparing the other three innocent people they shot. It was a risk they had to take. KTS Dre was rushed to Mount Sinai Hospital, but died en route. The medical examiner for Cook County recorded 61 shots to his face, head, chest, shoulder, abdomen, leg, Third person shot, 2600, South California, 45 male shot. The murder of KT is Trey sent shockwaves to the route. city. There has been eight retaliating shootings in response for Trey on the east side of Lakeshore Drive. Pasto, you broke my heart. I love you, bitch. You got me so sick. I can't even look up no more. I lost all faith. I'm so hurt. Long live in heaven, Dre. I love you, friend. You just got out, and they already got you, bro. Damn, G. Why you ain't called? I wasn't on shit. Fuck, bro. Damn. So you just gon' leave me like that, huh? First bond, now you. You said you would never leave. Half on the rack, all for you. You lied to me, now both my brothers dead. Call moms, she's hurting so bad. I'm not gonna do all that on here. Y'all mean no good. Hey boy, you do better than to leave me sick out here like this. I'm so pissed, so dead, confused. But most of all, I'm so hurt. Had a fucked up year. Now 2021, you ain't spooked, just leave like that. Y'all ain't even say goodbye before you left. I wish you stayed your ass in jail, Draco. Fuck. Rest easy, big dog. You can finally talk to Vaughn now, like you said you would. What am I supposed to do? I can't believe I'll never feel you again. I love you so much. I can't believe you. Damn, boo. 
you was my everything My whole heart, my best friend With your poor, I've always loved you Everybody know how I feel about you I'll see you soon boo, love you At Baldy Band Oh, this for you, boo. I just took this. Love you, bae. Baldy bands. You got your wings now. I'll never forget you. Hashtag long live my king. No more us. No more laughs. No more fighting. No more none, huh? You both just said. I still love you forever. I miss you. Be good. Soon, boo. Love you. Hey, bro. <laughs>